What's up everybody and welcome back to some more Once Human. Today we're probably going to be doing one of the final episodes of this because the closed beta is ending very very soon and I'm not sure if I'll have any more time to be able to do any other recordings. Regardless though, I appreciate all the support on the previous episodes. This game has been doing way better than I anticipated. It's been getting a lot more support than I expected, so thank you for all of that. If you guys end up enjoying this one too, getting this one to like 30 likes or more makes a huge difference as well. But uh, the goal for today, uh, well first of all, I upgraded a lot of my gear. So we've got a little bit of a different look. Um, I actually tried doing a different recording before this one for this location, uh, the monolith here. But the problem is, since this game's in beta, there's a lot of stuff that is not finished. It's not full product. And I went into this boss fight and it was just, it, it was a little bit of a mess because it, the music's not playing. There's things spawning weirdly. It's not, it wasn't even really a good experience. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Instead, what we're going to do is go over to these cities, like go explore a little bit more, see what else is out here. Maybe do one of these side quests instead, because those seem like they're more put together. But the boss fight just wasn't really... Uh, it, it's not finished so uh, there's a lot of areas that are just fully not ready and that's fine because I mean this is we're already so far into the the beta anyways so I think keeping that fresh for when the game fully releases will be a little bit better off um, but we're gonna go to this little city here since it's around my level it's 15 there's a quest over here that's level 18 and then we'll kind of just talk about what the plans are um, for this game so I'm pretty sure this is the final beta that they're doing until the game fully launches, which is supposed to be sometime this year. Not exactly sure when yet. There's not a ton of information. So uh, I am in their Discord and stuff. I am in their, there's a creator Discord as well. So I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on that. But whenever it does launch, like I've been saying, I will be there day one. We will most likely be playing the, uh, doing it on stream so that way we can answer questions give any feedback from like how i was feeling from the beta to now and all of that but i'm still really looking forward to it i think it's going to be a, a good time the the more i've got a feel for the beta the more uh excited i have been for full release because at that point you're it's not going to be reset like this and i'm kind of glad i only got into one of the betas i don't know if i'd be able to do this over and over again if i played the other three betas um I, I even know a lot of streamers that i personally watch that have played this game they they've kind of moved on and they're they're at their point where all right wait until full release once full release comes out then we'll check it out again and i'm kind of moving on to that same boat uh in a way because the, the thing is, like I've said, we're going to have to do all this over again. But when we do get to do all this over again, it's it should be a more finished product. It should be, you know, the dialogue between all the characters we've met so far through this series. All of the textures loading in maybe a little bit smoother. Um, any, any all quality of life updates, you know. Hopefully translation is there and it's not uh, broken in some parts like this. What the? Okay, well. <laughs> stuff like that too, like because that just spawned right in front of me without me even doing anything. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's the biggest thing and why I haven't really dived too much into a lot of the other storylines. I mean, exploring has probably been one of my favorite parts. Going to each city and saying like, okay, where's the where's the chest here? Okay, there it is. Cool. Found it. Oh, a little mini boss. Defeat him or you defeat the elite. And then now you get your rewards. Okay, time to go to the next town. So, that's probably been one of my favorite parts. Plus really of course really interested in seeing where the story goes but 
in order to care more about the story, I want it to be more of a finished product. I think that's, is that another character right there? I don't know if that was another character or just another, uh, like an enemy. All right, we've got some people up here. Yeah, so here's the town. We're going into Sunbury. The goal is we'll clear this one out, then we'll make our way up here, even if I'm not, like, that level yet. Uh, there's also another location down here, but this one's 19. So, let's see how this goes. Still rocking my crossbow, which I, I've still really enjoyed. So, speaking of, going back to the boss thing. So, I, I was actually in the middle of recording it. But it was, trust me, I, I would publish it, <laughs> but I made it 30 minutes in and it was just, it was rough. Um, it was, it was a very awkward boss fight, not going to lie. Um, and it's actually the same, if you, if you watch the last episode before this one, with the treant copy, instead of it being like a, a white uh, hollow like enemy type, it was a just full enemy type. Um, where it wasn't like hollowed out or anything, you could just see it. And I, you could tell there was supposed to be like a little bit of a cinematic during it too, but the cinematic was just not, not put together. So. It's stuff like that where it's you're better off really just waiting for the full the full thing to be out. You know, to to criticize it and and do all that. Um so I'd rather just wait. Plus, I mean it adds that that okay, well I played a little bit of the what is happening? Is there an invisible enemy type? Like, we, we have fought one kind of big boss so far, so when we go back and actually do that one, even in the full release, I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes, you know? And I'm not going to lie, I am getting to that point where I'm, I'm ready to, even with the beta being over, you know, in the next few days, I'm getting to a point where I'm ready to put this game down and then be prepared for the full release. So that way when it does, yeah, like here's a, here's a part where there's some hollow people, but there, and there's dialogue, but I don't think there's a quest here or, or uh, voiceover. Okay. <laughs> It'll be really cool to see though, once the game fully releases, especially with the, with it being free to play, so anybody can really jump into it. I'm pretty sure there's an there's gonna be an a uh, phone version too, like a mobile version. Oh God, come on, come on. So it's not just PC. I just hope that there are, there are words on what they plan on doing for the monetization and all that is ends up being you know within reason and stuff because it can be uh yeah i guess we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens maybe I, we'll see it depends on how long it takes me to clear out this area and the next area. But depending on what, what happens from here and there, maybe we'll go back to the boss. The only thing is, I was too close on level. Like, not only was it not finished, but at the same time, the enemy I was going up against was like level 20. Um, and I'm still level 16. So it was... Yeah, it was, it was a little bit rough on that side of things, too. Grab this. Let me see what the uh, whispers people left said. Go here. Grab my arrows again. 
Mystic chest and hidden ladder. Close by you will find a building with plants growing out of it. Go behind the bottom floor until you find a hole in the ceiling. Use the fridge to climb. Oh, jeez. It's kind of cool that we're running into more like humanoid enemy types though. Got a little bit more of that like division feel to it right now. But my crossbow is still my, my best weapon available, so. Nice. The amount of damage this thing does is just too good to, to not use it. I barely have any ammo for this gun. Building with trees growing out of it? Is it this thing? Oh, that one? Yeah, it might be that one over there. Hold on, let me let me read their message one more time. It was right here. I don't know, but that one has stuff growing out of it, too. Uh, let's try going over here anyways. It looks more grown. Nice. It is kind of crazy how long it took me to switch to the crossbow. Chest. Okay, nice. Definitely doing more damage to me because I'm having to heal up a whole lot more too. Let's uh let's eat this real quick. Climb here, use this fridge to climb up. Easy. Ah Wow. I never would have guessed. This is the fridge you're they're talking about. Okay. Just a little odd. Jeez. Cause you can't just hold on. Hold on. Struggling. You can't just jump. Yeah, because look, if you jump, your head just hits that thing. Okay. Come on. Trying to do it. There we go. Wow. Is that really how they anticipate anticipated you to get up here? Okay, now I need to get around. Wow, there it is. That was kind of that was a little tough trying to get up here like that though. Not gonna lie. All right, let's go down the ladder. We only need one more weapon or gear crate. We've already killed all the enemies. Yeah, that's the only other way to get up here. Jeez. Try clearing out over here then. Did you hear that? Okay. See what we got. Uh oh. At least this thing's pretty much silent. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Chat, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? I just T posed for a second there. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? 
They must be on the roof or something. There's a chest. Okay. Alright, I only have seven rounds. Or, it's not seven rounds, but seven shots left. But I think I have other arrows, so hopefully it just switches to that. I don't know how to change the ammo type, too. But I guess we'll find out. Nice. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. All right, cool. Grab this one. There we go. Sunbury exploration complete. Not bad. Go ahead and let's head up here. This one should get me to, to like level 18, I guess, or level uh, 17. Go to the research center ruins to investigate. All right, let's uh, go to this here too. Got collect those. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay. All right, let's get back out there. Just gotta make our way over to the research station. We'll get onto the main road here. Pull my bike out. And go. Run. Hopefully I can make through that. Yep. Yeah, I'm still excited to see like how large the, the full map will be. Because, I mean, we've only searched two locations so far. You know, two, not two towns, but two like districts in a way. The first one being from like level one to level 10, and then the second one being like level 11 to, I think this one goes up to like 20 ish. And then what? There's still, like, we're only in the right side of this map. There's still this Iron River, Chalk Peak, Rift Space, a whole, yeah, okay, the Rift Space might just be like open area. But still, I mean, even this area, Blackfell 45, this one's 35, 25. We're down here in like the, yeah, 15, level two. That was our first town, Deadsville, level 15, level 19. So then you'd probably go up here then, and then you'd go from there to here, and then here to there. And then, yeah, there's a, I don't know. It's cool though. It'll, it'll be nice to see what all those districts are like when you have the full product. I'm sure there's there's probably some people here. Like, I, I don't know if there's a certain point in the beta where you reach that area and it just stops. Like, you can't go any further. I don't know if it's like that at all. But I'm I'm sure that if, if it's not, guarantee there's somebody playing this beta still that's like... Uh, yeah, I went to every single area, and it was really cool. Requires a more advanced gathering tool. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. That, that stuck out to me, and I wanted to try it. But yeah, this... I don't know. It's going to be cool to, to see, though. Definitely one of those games that I'm, I'm really keeping an eye on. And then in the meantime, we've still been doing the live stream with some Fallout, which has been a lot of fun. We got Ghost of Tsushima, which actually drops very, very soon. Um, then there's a few other games I want to go back to and, and do some playthroughs of. Uh, some that I kind of switched off from the live streams. Like, most likely Alpha Protocol is one that I'm going to be doing off stream which is like a espionage rpg game I can't hold out much longer. and then any other like shooters or extraction I, I feel like doing these these recordings and stuff 
honestly do great for either this type of game or like extraction shooters because it's not like you're spending too much time it's just i hop on for an hour ish record some gameplay do a little bit of commentary publish it whenever um i'm not streaming or if a night that i take off or whatever the case is which uh, my my biggest thing is I just hope that this video gets all the way through. Because um, if it doesn't, I'm going to let you guys know. My stream PC slash recording PC. Uh, just some back back end image or info. My stream PC that I have, which is my second one. Um, it's my old gaming PC. So I have a capture card that connects from my gaming PC to the streaming PC. And then the streaming PC records and streams. That's its only job. But this one that I'm recording this on right now is from 2015. So 2015, 2016, around that time. And the main reason I bought a new gaming PC was because, it, well, first of all, the CPU was, was like 10 years old. And it, it couldn't keep up with a lot of games coming out today. But secondly... Nice, nice. Uh, it has had memory issues and stuff in the past. And uh, luckily I was able to kind of... Since I, I'm not putting it under so much like stress anymore and its only job is recording, I have, haven't really had that issue. But in the last week or so... Uh, I've gotten like three or four blue screens. Not back to back, but like within a close enough time frame. And it's starting to have those memory issues again. And it's, I don't know what it is because I, I gave it brand new memory cards a long time ago. I swapped different things. I've swapped like graphics cards. I've swapped, uh, I've done memory tests and it's still still has a lingering issue so at this point i think it's some probably going down to the the motherboard or some internal like system file error so at some point um i'm hoping to upgrade it anyways which honestly isn't a bad thing because this this pc that i'm using for streaming or recording is not even a it, it can't handle windows 11 even So, get these guys. Where, where, where is this guy? Oh, there you are. I'm wounded. I need a medic. Nice. Yeah, it did switch the whatever the second ammo type I have. Can we even see that? Hold on. Oh, speaking of that, my mouse is going over to the other screen. Because I didn't close this thing out. So yeah, uh, long story short, if this video abruptly ends at some point, um, then that is why. But hopefully, hopefully we're good. That is my the biggest thing is I'm trying to play it a little safe. Weapon crate in the building area, uh, building ahead. Wait, which one? This one? I think that's it. Open crate. Look for a mystical crate. We also need to find the... Looking for the first Rosetta confidential document. Look for the second Rosetta confidential document. But it, anyways, it, it kind of works out though. Although getting a new PC kind of does suck sometimes it's also exciting at times because then obviously you got like more modern stuff uh setting it up is the the hardest part and getting all that configured again but once it's good to go and it's running properly and stuff um the good thing is for any you tech tech guys out there um there's a new record encoding mode called av1 uh which has actually been around for a while it's just nothing has been able to use it 
and it basically makes the game just look a lot better. Um, it uses less of a bitrate, but lets the game look cleaner. So, for instance, right now you guys are watching this at uh, 1440p, and the bitrate is about 15,000. With AV1, you could watch something at like 1440p with a bitrate of like 5,000 or 3,000, and it will still look as smooth. Um, the higher the bitrate, usually the better. The, the more quality that you'll get. Schedule for today's experiment. One stable science, okay. And sometimes 15,000 isn't even enough. Um, technically, I should be uh, closer to like... Someone cover my stick. Quick. Probably closer to like 25, 40,000. Uh, for for true 1440p, but it, it it'll get compressed with YouTube and and stuff anyways. At least from my understanding. So just just some uh, some back end information for anybody that does care, or any potential other creators out there. Open fire now. You might not care about it at all, but hey, we're just clearing some rooms, so the first thing that's coming to mind right now. Someone cover my stick. Quick. Did you hear that? Alright, let's grab that. This. Laboratory journal article forty seven, agent forty seven. No longer be able to ensure the safety of my staff for this facility. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Clear it out down here. I can't hold out much longer. I can't hold out much longer. <laughs> I hope I'm mistaken. Uh, I would cover my six, quick! Jeez. I love how they go down, like, after you shoot them and they go down, they'll still say something. But yeah, so that's that's one of the good things. If I end up upgrading PCs, although it, it's going to suck at first, um, down the line once AV1 becomes available, especially for live streaming, then I'll be able to use that because um, I'll I'm definitely gonna be getting a, a PC with a better graphics card and the bigger thing is getting one with a better CPU because that the CPU I have right now just is is old and not doing great are you here to rescue me fearful hostages Be gone. Okay. Yeah, see, like stuff like that. I don't, I don't even know if I'm even supposed to do that right there. Panicked hostage. Okay. I don't think that they're not even part of my objective right now. All right, what else we got? So we gotta activate the rift anchor and look for the mystical crate. That's the last thing. There's a rift anchor over here? Oh, there is, yeah, okay. To be honest, I, I didn't even realize there was one here. All right, now I'm trying to fi figure out my way out of here. Didn't we come in through here? Oh, there it is, jeez. Like one little door behind you. Okay. Grab that. There's the rift anchor anchor. The nice thing is usually they'll have hints too on where to go for the uh the mystical crate. Someone cover my stick! 
You know, for being level 18 or so, we're still clearing these guys out pretty easily. All right. We're almost up there. There we go. All right, where's the mystical crate? Somebody, somebody's got to have a note here. Crates. Mystic and and gear in white and yellow building weapon in large tree tent or green tent mystic and gear in white and yellow building oh, that one right there yeah because we just came from over there okay cool and that makes sense because i haven't actually gone over there too all right let's drop back down Yeah, I, re I really enjoy, honestly, the, the exploration of this game, too. I do hope... Now, I don't know if I'm just really doing something wrong when it comes to the weapons, like the other ones. But, and maybe it's a specking thing where I have to spec into stronger weapons to be able to craft. Hold on, let's go around this. Here, alright. I don't know if there's anything back there. But I, I hope in the full launch of the game that you're able to use more like actual weapons like bullets rather than just crossbow it's just the, the crossbow right now is insanely powerful so it although it's one shot the amount of damage that you do with it and not having to like you just reload that one shot every time compared to you know using a 30 round magazine of an smg or like an assault rifle, I've used them maybe once or twice. And it's still never, like, you, you just use so much more ammo compared to how easy it is to make some arrows. Which, by the way, Jaunty, thank you for the follow there. Uh, I know we're currently not live or anything, but I say it probably every episode. Every time I record, there's usually at least one follow. There's one follow or one sub. Um, but I use the same the same source for recording I use as uh, streaming. So it, it still has like the alerts. So maybe if you're watching this video, so for example, if you're watching this video right now and you haven't already subbed, well, first of all, I don't know how you made it to episode nine and you haven't even subbed yet. But second of all, if you sub, well, you could be watching a previous episode. That's true. Um, but you never know. Sometimes, if you if you hit it while I'm also in the middle of recording something at the same time, then uh, your your notification will go off. It's a cool little, uh, I don't know. I guess like an Easter egg. I could easily like make a second scene and not have that part record, but that's okay. All right, let me, I was trying to find a ladder, but I'm just gonna jump down. Even though it's gonna hurt a little bit, but it'll go away. Pain is only temporary. Chat. There's the mystic crate, nice. Exactly what we needed. Oh, it was pretty easy to get to. There's the second document that we need, too. Leakage source. Okay. Report findings to low. Is there any other objectives over here? I don't think so. Yeah, we can't just teleport back. I could teleport back to my place. You know what? Let's do that. I like how you're able to teleport back to your, your base at any time. Um, it would be kind of nice if you could teleport to any towns, but... What we can do here is actually just rest for a second. Yeah, what, what a difference. 
I cannot believe that I went so many episodes without ever using a bed to restore my sanity and keep me at full health. Like that That's crazy. You guys just put up with that the whole time. <laughs> I'm sure there's there's somebody out there that was like, dude, I can't do it. This guy's not paying attention to his his sanity. I just can't deal with this anymore. Oh, trust me. I know, I know there's somebody out there that did that. Or maybe another reason. Uh, see, this is where... So we could make, like, copper ammo. And all I really need is, is more copper ingots. Do I even have any? Let me, let me take a look. I do. Okay, yeah, I do have some. You know what? Just for the sake of doing it, I will. Hello. First home. These must just go across all universes. Wow, this build is so great. Hi, best. Home sweet home. Welcome. <laughs> These are the two. <laughs> Let's say this is my home. Okay. Do we have anything to cook over here? Uh eh. Could do some dirty water, but that's okay. Just wait for this to finish here. 49 seconds. Let me see if I can craft any with this current one. You know what? Let's let's take a look. What's the best weapon that I can build? Can I build the LMG? If I can build this right now, I'm going to use it. Yes, I can. Well, let's give an LMG a try. Equip as primary weapon. Hell yeah. Okay. I love my LMGs, man. I love my LMGs. And then what's the... So we'll be able to make some... That's sniper rifle ammo. What would it be? Oh, copper LMG AP ammo. There it is. Cool. Might as well try out the... I mean, there's no better time than now for trying out an LMG. Oh, freaking out. Let's craft all that. All right, it'll be done in... 30 seconds. Then after... Dude, what is happening? It's like everything's breaking at once. Yeah, there's so many other, like, side missions we'd be able to do. A lot of these, I think, are, like, finding deviations, too. Which, hopefully, in the, the full release, they'll have, like, a little bit better explanation on a lot of those. And in the full release, at that point, I probably will go to each location and just clear them out, like as we're leveling um, and doing missions. Maybe not go to each location, but do like any side missions and objectives. Because then it's a, it's a long-term investment, kind of. <laughs> at least that, that's how I see it. All right, so we got this one. After we clear out... After I take this ammo, we'll make our way to this area after we hand this. Oh, wait, no, we just did that one. Wait. Oh, we did both of these. Wait, what the heck? Uh, there's a level 19 junkyard down here we could go do. Attack. What is that? Yeah, maybe we'll go down there. All right. Let's go hand in this quest here. See what happened. But yeah, like, I, like I've kind of been saying for a while now, either way, I'm very excited for the full release of this game. It'll be nice to see what, what changes that they bring, how they balance things. 
hopefully a you know they they stick to their free to play model that they're they're saying that they're going to be doing yeah like i think this section here is supposed to be voice acted and stuff but i'll just skip through it a bit oh so sorry oh, oh. Okay. Murmurs in the forest. That's the one that's up there. See, the weird thing is it still says it's level 14, but when I got into the mission, they're like level 18. Or or like 20-ish. I don't know. Something something like that. It just doesn't doesn't add up a bit. Guidance concept of materialize. Investigate Deadsville. Noise is drifting in from the outskirts of Deadsville. Oh, there's also an outpost over here we haven't gone to. Level 17. Perfect, perfect level for me. How are you even supposed to get there? Like, go here, I guess? I'm going to untoggle that one. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess that's the only way to get there. Believe that. All right, let's let's actually go here. Yeah, let's go to this little wild dog aisle outpost. Okay. Take out my bike. I think the faster route, it although wants me to go the other way. I think the faster route is actually going to be going down here. Yeah. Let's go. We'll make our way there. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. We've passed this place a few times. The islands are probably some of my, my favorite areas. Oof. Yeah, the stardust pollution there is a little rough. So when when you start healing, hearing that, that beeping noise, and I remember somebody left it in one of the comments, um, but it's, it's pretty much the sound effect of like how polluted the area is and then the that's what reduces your sanity a lot and i i still didn't make any jelly um I, I forget the materials are pretty easy to get i think but i just haven't found them or haven't actually spent the time to go out and and collect them and stuff because at this point now we can really just if my sanity goes, I hop on the bed, we go to sleep for a bit, and then we wake up, and we're fine. You know? We're good. <laughs> okay, we're back over to this, like, little lighthouse here. Yeah, I, I remember being over here. We had to go all the way to the top, and then I had to take a picture out in front of it. But I guess there's something behind it that we got to do. Uh, yeah, whoops. Okay, uh oh, uh oh, falling against that. Call my bike back out. Oh. I don't know if there's supposed to be a better way of getting to this place, but <laughs> I'll make my own route. I mean, it, it really is its own island out there, so. There's nothing that connects to it. And then there's a little island over there, too. All right, we're jumping into the water. We're going for a little swim.
And then the nice thing is once you get over here too, you'd be able to just um, fast travel back between here and the house now. Let's just say, welcome to the Isle Delfino. Welcome to sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Delfino. You made it. Nice job gliding up. No, we are supposed to glide. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you can you can glide like that. Oh man, that would have been so cool. Yeah, I keep forgetting that you can glide everywhere. Get off my lawn. Go on, get. Damn, man. Let's see what they say. Do what now? Not much here on this island. Go on and get. I mean, you can still clear it, right? I mean, it's, it seems like it's a, its own little place. Yeah, it's got an objective and stuff. Grab the research documents. Oh no, one of them's on the boat. Oh, it's Rosetta again? Great. All right, we're using the LMG. Okay. All right. I like it. Although that thing still does a ton more damage, I do like, uh, I do like it for a second there. I can't hold out much longer. It's a little, a little stealthy too. Reload this. Let me guess. Glide. If you come this far, you're beautiful. Hey, you're, you know what? If you're reading this, if you're watching this right now, you're beautiful. I hope you're doing well. Line up the ladder. Great view of the island. Our loadout's looking pretty nice right now, too. Jump and press space again to glide to the boat. There's a note on the ship about something. Wow. Yeah, this, this whole time, man. It's all true, all of it, even though I didn't... I didn't want to believe the other two posts I had looked for myself and realized that it was all true all of it. Start swimming, nothing here. Wait, I'm trying to read the note. Hmm. Research data doesn't look all... Wait, what? They lied. What's up, brother? Special team, special play, special players, Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Body. Come on, I'm trying to read the next one. Nothing but note. It's true. There's nothing but the note on this boat, Sag. This is all the boat has to offer. Save yourself some time. Just read the note and swim back. Nothing else is on the ship, sadly. Liars don't trust anyone. Just keep searching. Hit G when you reach the bottom floor. There's an invisible chest. Q doesn't even show it. Probably another bug. Wait, what? You know what? I can get seawater. Okay. Ship is empty. 
There's nothing inside the boat. Don't trust the hype. If you don't believe, go drop a like on this note when you come back and realize. <laughs> Never stop searching lies. There's seawater in the ship. Never stop searching. <laughs> I love how everybody's like trying to convince the other players to like, oh, surely there's nothing here. Well, I got to I got to look for myself, you know, sometimes you got to do your own research. Hey, Kona. All right, let's use the LMG again. Reload. Nice. Okay. And we got like 800 ammo for this thing. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm excited for the, uh, the full release with this then. I think that's what we need is just better weapons. And now that I finally have like tier two materials, I was able to craft some better stuff plus i mean we're wearing tier two armor we've got this tier two um i think the crossbow is tier two it is shredding through them so i like that all right let's uh let's go over here You gotta be kind of close to the enemies, though. Oh, shoot. Tail up a bit. Did you just throw a grenade? The only negative here is I feel like the gun that you use, I, I mean, like, this thing only has 75 rounds, which, yes, is a lot, but at the same time. Sniper up there. Nice. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, here's the Mystic Crate. Wait, what the heck? Oh, we need an access card? I have one. I probably have a mod that I could put on this gun too. I just haven't messed with that. Hold on, let me pick this up. Go this. Modify. Could be any one of these. In app applicable to the current gear. So what, the first one would work, but not the second one? Yeah, okay. Oh, because it's tier three. I see, I see. So this would all work for tier two weapons. This one would work for any. 
but technically if my weapon right now is a tier three one then we would get the plus 48 percent uh damage for being tier two but then we would also get the damage against deviants an extra three percent did you hear that i see i see reload this Are getting up there? Is there are like steps here somewhere. Yeah, this area is pretty cool. I like this spot. It reminds me like a little bit of uh, it's a mix between the division and Ghost Recon, at least from what I see. Oh, here we go. Medical records. Oh, it's one of these. Dude, I haven't done this in forever. Holy. There it goes. Fight the boss at the Healy Heli for the key. Oh, okay. I see. We already had the, the key card. A good sniper shot from here can take out the elite. Is that supposed to be the elite? It actually would be cool if I had him had a sniper on me. Nice. Yep, that was the elite enemy. Makes it a little bit easier to see. Probably like one of the only times I've actually used the aiming down sights. Why is this guy? This guy feels like he has. Oh, wait. Is that thing healing him? Oh, I think it was healing him. Sir. You know what? Nice. Alright, all we have to do now is activate the rift anchor and do the other thing. You set a marker for both of those. I get the other research document. Not the brightest AI. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that man, I guess his friend died and he was like, you know what? I'm not going to have any part of this. Yeah, this, uh, this gun shredded through that guy. And to get inside this building, line up the camera with the two pieces of the picture so they make form one picture. It takes a little fiddling, opens the secret door once you get it. Oh, I see. What the heck? That's so weird. You have to actually use the camera there. I 
this. Alright, let's re reload. Oh. Oh, what the? Oh, they didn't actually mean like you don't have to open up the camera. You just have to. Whoa. You literally just move your. Everything about this outpost and its surroundings. Oh, there we recorded. go. Maybe it'll prove useful for someone later. There we go. I think I filled in all the blanks on what Wild Dog Isle is like. I know the author said she'd want these notes delivered to a reliable union leader like Maxie, but I'll bet Claire would be pretty interested in this too. And willing to pay. Huh. Yeah, look at that. So that's that's what it's supposed to be. Like there's a lot of areas where there's no voice acting that plays. I'm pretty sure that's like uh not done on purpose. I I would assume. Alright, let's uh we hit level 18. Good timing. Let's let's actually fast travel back over here. And then from there, I'm going to fast travel down to the other location. And we'll hand in this quest. See if they have anything to say. Before we do that, though, let's lay in our bed real fast. Rest up. It's I love how fast you regen. Regen health and sanity on top of it. So pretty nice. Okay, cool. Get back up. And let's go over to, uh, yeah, what is that? Party event surge of fish. Teleportation added. I think I saw a guy fishing over there, too. All right. Let's uh let's go do this. Claire. Oh, I think Claire is the one that would pay for it. Let's give it to Maxi. I think Maxi was like the journalist and Claire was the person that would pay for it. Um if Maxi's even there. Hello? Found something of uh, Brianna's? The high banks. Okay. I'm just going to skip through this. There's no dialogue. Wait. Yeah, I remember. Never mind. We, we already did this one. She talks about Brianna being like the, uh, the first pregnant lady or something. I found a journal left oh, by here an we explorer. Go. It says that the union will reward whoever brings it back to them. Can I take a look? Huh. There's no question. These notes are from Captain Denise Cooper. Does that mean you're interested? I am. Nice work finding this. Thanks to you, the union finally has a complete picture of the Broken Delta. That's it? I thought I'd get an official union commendation or something. Sure. I'm a union official and I commend you. I'm not one for ceremony and you know it. That said... You did good by bringing this to me. I have to admit, it's worth a decent reward. Thanks. Honestly, Captain Cooper had always been kind to me. It was a real loss for the Union when she went missing. Hmm. Sounds like you really admire this woman. I do. To me, she'll always be Captain Cooper. Along with Ted Holt, she was co-founder of the Union up in Blackfell. Once they gained a foothold in the north, she came down south. She put together an expedition team to journey through the wilds in search of other survivors. Eventually, they found this settlement here, led by Simon Meyer. Captain Cooper recruited them into the Union, and then her team moved on. They went all over, 
gathering as much information as they could on the landscape post Starfall. It's thanks to her that we know the landscape and its stardust levels so well. What happened to her? There's a mountain range up north that's supposed to be shrouded in stardust. But it was also home to a lot of military installations before Starfall. Captain Cooper went to see what was left there and never came back. I think of her a lot, especially when things get tough. She was a natural leader, really knew how to bring people together. The Union could use someone like that nowadays. Okay, well, there's that. I just fast travel back over to our, oh, all right, never mind, I can't travel. Oh, there's a time limit on there. Hmm. So you can go to the, those places at any time pay or you can fast travel to yours every i don't know maybe it's like 15 minutes or so okay well we are actually going to leave this series or this playthrough right here so for right now i don't know if i'm going to be recording any other episodes um but i feel like that was a good end to this anyways if i do then it will be a surprise if not expect this one to be the last we'll see i don't i haven't fully decided yet but we're running out of time anyways and i'm not sure if i'll have time before the uh, closed beta ends. But I'm excited for the full release. I would definitely be playing it. Like I said throughout this entire one. We'll most likely be doing a live stream on the day that it comes out. And for now, that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Leave a comment if you plan on checking this out. Or just have anything at all that you want to say. Uh, feel free. For now, thanks for watching. Join the Discord for announcements. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.